You want to get Lightmatica in Minecraft 1.21.3, and we're going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and this is the download page for Lightmatica. The developer here, Sakura, has taken this project and basically continued it after the other developer decided not to develop newer versions, and you can download it here on the GitHub. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the Lightmatica fabric dot jar right here and as soon as you click on it the download will begin you may need to keep or save the file right like so depending on your browser now while this is downloading come from our company simple game hosting go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown the next way z says sgh is your very own 24-hour ddos directed minecraft server for you and your friends you can easily add mods plugins or mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out and you can even use mods like like Matica on your server. So let's drop Strogan and host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ says SGH. Now, with Light Matica downloaded, we need to download Molly Lib. Molly Lib is basically a compatibility mod, a library mod that Light Matica requires. It's also linked down below, and once you're here, go ahead and click on this download right here, this .jar file, and just like Lightmatica, it will begin downloading after a few seconds, and you can keep or save it. Now we also need Fabric. Fabric is the mod loader that allows the Lightmatica mod to actually work with Minecraft. So in the description down below, we have a link to get Fabric. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and scroll down and click on the Download Fabric button here to go to Fabric's official download page. On this page, what we want to do is click on the Download for the Universal Jar. So download Universal Jar here, this little link. And the reason we're downloading with that is it allows us to install other mods and servers in the future easier. So let's go ahead and click on that, and the download will begin again after a few seconds. Now finally, we can minimize our browser, and I want to move all of this stuff to our desktop. So to do that, where is it? Well, it's in our Downloads folder, at least it's in mine, but for you it's going to be wherever your files normally download. Once these are on your desktop, we're going to be starting off here with the Fabric Installer. So go ahead and right click on that, click on Open With, click Java and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Well, if you don't have Java here or you do and you click OK and it doesn't work, it's because you need Java 21. Java 21 is basically what allows us to install Minecraft mods, servers, things like that. And we have an in-depth guide on how to get it linked down below. Once you've went through that guide, you should be able to open up Lightmatica, but you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them to Java 21, make them work together but first get Java then run the jar fix now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and open that fabric installer again right click on it click on open with select Java and click OK and it will open right like so at this point make sure that the Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed and go ahead and make sure create profile is checked and click install it will now install fabric into Minecraft the only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.3 before if that's the case just go play it and you're good to go and again it is worth noting you want to make sure that this is one 21.3 if it's no longer the most recent version you will need to select it from the drop down here but nevertheless it is now done it is installed and we can close out of this and actually delete fabric from our desktop now what we want to do is open up the minecraft launcher once we're in the minecraft launcher it's actually really easy from here to get your mods installed in my opinion the part of actually installing fabric is kind of the hard part installing your mods from there is super easy in the minecraft launcher what we'll want to do is click on installations up here at the top and then we will have our fabric installation now if you don't have Fabric, make sure Mod is checked in the top right. As soon as you check it, there it is, Fabric Loader 1.21.3. However, if you still don't have this, go ahead and click New Installation here. Now, you can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then, this is the most important part, in the version drop-down box, select Release Fabric Loader 1.21.3. Right here it is for me. Once that's selected, you're good to go. You can click Create. Now, how do we install our mods? Well, it's all done from the Minecraft launcher. So hover over your Fabric installation. That is there by default or the one that you created. It doesn't matter. And click on the folder icon. Then you want to have your mods folder. So as you can see, we have a mods folder here. If you don't have a mods folder, just right click, create a new folder, and title it Mods. M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And then open the mods folder. Then drag and drop Molly Lib and Lightmatica into the mods folder right like so and you're done. Now we can play Minecraft using your fabric installation, and once we've done that, Minecraft will now open up with Lightmatica installed. Now we're of course going to be using Lightmatica on a simple game hosting server, and what's really cool about Lightmatica is that actually, as long as it's installed in single player, like locally, it doesn't necessarily need to be on the server to work. Now, the stick here that we have in our hand is basically what Lightmatica uses to kind of become a selection tool, and you can hold control and scroll, and in the bottom left you'll see it change. So this is area selection, placement selection, and it goes through kind of everything. You can paste stuff, all of that. However, 
We have an in-depth guide in the description down below on how to use Lightmatic. And this is going to go way more in-depth than what I will in this video. This is what you need to watch. It's 20 minutes or 15 minutes of us going through everything you need to know about using Lightmatica. Go check it out. It's really, really good. Once you've done that, you'll be able to jump in game and, well, use Lightmatica all that you want. You can even hit M, for example, open the Lightmatica menu. You can load schematics. You can see any loaded schematics that you have. And, of course, you can make schematic selections here. As you can see, we have left-click there, right-click there. This is now a selected area for our schematic and then you can use scroll wheel to change this uh, I think there's something else you have to have to click but luckily that's what that in-depth Lightmatica video is for so yeah if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below enjoy this video enjoy using Lightmatica schematics are an amazing way to use Minecraft and add things to your world we'll see you in the next video I am out peace